And so it begins, a grueling stretch of three road games, all on the road, all against top ten ranked opponents. It's a make or break point in the season for Cougar football. Hi everybody, welcome into the south side of Chicago, along with our Mandel bum, I'm Joe Parson. Doesn't get any tougher for St. Francis than this one. Against the defending national champions, ranked number one, and playing here at home on homecoming. Aaron Knight in wide to the left side. Little motion, Akeem Kelsall from left beat to right behind the line of scrimmage. A roll to the right, Ben Miller. Throws in the flats. He's got Kelsall, and he's got the first down and up the right sidelines. All the way up across the 45-yard line. So that's a big key, something that the USF Cougars have really been struggling to find some continuity in getting Akeem Kelsall into action in part of the offense he was that time for a first down carry and good for 26 yards Joe. at the 45 for St. Francis on the move from right to left Campbell stays in as the running back and they'll give the ball to him spins and they know it was a keeper play by Miller and he explodes on second effort for into a St. Xavier territory down to the 46 yard line well, that's almost close to another first down Joe it's going to be just shy Miller is going to run the football today Miller goes over 100 rushing yards now for the season came in averaging about three yards a carry with one touchdown second down and short Miller play action fake rolls to his right throws in the flats he's got a catch and that's a good move for a first down Seth Stewart on the receiving end of it fights his way inside the 35 of SXU down to about the 33 maybe the 32 Motion, Kelsaw from right to left behind the line of scrimmage. Blitz is coming. Miller in the pocket, throws to the middle, and he's got a catch. Coleman's got it, and he's got a first down inside the 10-yard line. The ball popped free, but I believe it was ruled down on contact, and it'll be a new set of downs for St. Francis. Miller, Miller looks to Campbell straight ahead, and he got close. No, it's Miller on the quarterback keeper play, and he rolls into the end zone. They faked it to Campbell, who took a great shot, but Josh Miller rolls into the end zone. Just moved like that around the right side, a run of nine yards at the 920 mark, and St. Francis draws first blood. Wow, Joe, that was an impressive drive. Three first downs. We started back at our 18, and we marched the football, passing, mixing passes and runs, actually pretty balanced. And the Cougars draw first blood, as you said. Good job. Gill looks to hand it off play action. Now throws to the left. He's got a catch, and uh, that's good for about four yards. And it'll be up to the 45-yard line. West Gastel on the receiving end. They have a, just a trio of talented receivers. Gill now ready to put the play in motion. And uh, he's got the snap. He's got time. Floats up. Throws to the left, and that one is intercepted. And here's a return by USF. As the returning is Devin Rush, Rush will bring it down inside the 15-yard line, down close inside the 10. Let's see where he stepped out of bounds. So Gill picked off on the first possession of the ball game by St. Xavier, and the Cougars of St. Francis knocking on the door again. So they're going to mark it about the 9, tw uh, I can't tell yet, where they're, they're going to mark it at the 8-yard line. That was a 37-yard return by Rush. It's on that first down call. They'll look on a sweep, handing it off, and not much there as Bush was there, I believe, to stop it. And a good play by Kevin Bush, who came across, got penetration across the line of scrimmage and stopped Nick Pisek. Toss of one. They got a heck of a spot on that. Two wide to the right. Three wide to the left, empty backfield for Joe Gill at 6'3", the senior quarterback, big kid at 235 out of Western Illinois. And Gill, the left-hander, loads up, and he's got a catch in trap, and he split the defense and got Chase Cat, and that's a pretty good pass. And Gill out of the gun again, throws over the middle, and sliding catch on a defensive left side on Gill. Got rid of it, throws, and there's a catch to the weights. No rush, throws, and they, they've got the catch again in traffic. And left-hander rolls to his left, buying some time, throws on the run in the middle, and got a catch again. I believe that was Chase Catton that pulled the station. Gill on second and ten over the middle, and threw the ball low that time. And now there's penalty flags coming in. Francis who leads it seven to nothing. They'll hand a Pisek up the middle and uh, finds the running very tough as he stopped Stone right there at the ten. Jamel Green came across, but they had to uh, help up front, and I believe that's Big Matt Smith. Flank to the right is the protector of Gill. Short drop, looks to the right, has got a wide open. There's the step off, Alan Richardson. He'll go down to one knee. Nice. The second interception of the ball game for St. Francis, and they will have the ball at their 20-yard line. Boy, that was well done. He took the football and got down on one knee, so we'll... Now what's being discussed? Cool. 
Waits at the five, wants to hand it off. There was a big hole and a run by Antoine Campbell. Campbell brought down, and that was the man to beat, perhaps, for a chance to go to the house. He's across the 25 all the way to the 31-yard line, yeah. Antoine Campbell. SXU jockeying at the line of scrimmage defensively. Miller barking out the signals here in the late going in the first quarter. Now looks and got a misdirection handoff. And here's Austin Coleman near side, 40-45. And he got clothesline and still on his feet into SXU territory. I thought he was down at midfield, Art, and he continued on, kept his pins underneath him and brought it inside the 45 to the 43. Miller trying to make the play now. And he's got the snap. He looks to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Throws the home run ball. He's got a man. There's Knight. And did he hold on? He's got the ball. Inside the 10. Inside the 5. Joe, it was a great catch by Knight. The ball was actually overthrown and high. He had to turn on the, along the sidelines and dive. Falling backwards. Stays in bounds. Makes the catch. Inside the eighth, they've got it at the five now, leading it though, seven to nothing. They'll give the Campbell. Campbell cuts to his right, gets by one, and dives for the end zone. Did he get in? We'll wait for the indication. Easily, yep. And touchdown. There was no doubt about that one. Campbell went off right tackle, spun out of a tackle, and back into the end zone, falling forward on his rear end. And a touchdown for the Cougars at 12-14 to go in the half. Now with 12, with 11, empty backfield, Gill. Left hand, pulls it down, steps up, wants to run. They've got him. Bush has got him wrapped up, and he'll lose about a yard. Bush with a sack. You know, Joe, I really would like to see Bush grab the guy by the waist. He's big and he's strong, but he's trying to tackle a guy that's 6'3", 235 from the shoulders. He would have actually had him for about two or three yards deeper. And here comes SXU. Pisek, they'll flank him out to the right as well. In motion right now. Gill, empty backfield, wants to throw. Rushes on, steps up. He throws. He's got a catch. That's Pisek. And will he get the first down? I don't believe he did. He's knocked down inside the 40 at about the 38-yard line. And St. Francis is held. Joe Devon Rush did a great job with an open field tackle on Pisek over there. 13-0 lead here with 10-10 to go in the second quarter. Miller with Campbell, the running back, lined up behind him. Both the quarterbacks tonight have been uh, very content to work the play clock a little bit and maybe change up audible at the line of scrimmage. Coleman up in the slot to the right. Here's Miller looking to throw. Can't find anybody. Scrambles, throws late. He's got a catch for a first down. Late delivery, and that uh, is across midfield. And Akeem Kelsaw with the catch, and he picks up about five yards after the catch. Francis tries to up the tempo a little bit as well. They lead it 13 0 inside of 10 minutes. Time remaining in the second quarter. Roll right. Miller looking, looking. Now runs with a tucks it under his arm, cuts to the 45, and dives inside the 40 down to about the 39 yard line. They're going to mark him down at the 40. He's going to be a yard short of the first down, but it was a good decision. Miller. Looking at blitz possibility up the middle by SXU. He'll give it off to Campbell. And no, Miller again it. keeps it. He's got running room. Still on his feet inside the 30, inside the 25, and down to about the 23-yard line. That's a desperate for 17 yards. That'll get a third down conversion. I'm what, sorry, has, down. what has this kid been doing practicing with the fakes of the handoff? He is night and day difference this yeah. week. Here's Miller. Looks to the near side. Screams to Kelsoff. Kelso spins off a tackle and fights his way down. He'll get to about five or six yards, I think, down to about the 17 or 18. Yeah, the 14. Under center on the goal line offense is Josh Miller. Motion. They'll reset into the I formation. Here's a rollout to the left. They throw into the end zone and a diving attempt laying out for it. And it Bush is a got touchdown. It. it was Bush, Kevin Bush, the tight end. Well, you, that is a highlight for Kevin Bush laying out for the ball. It'll be a three-yard touchdown toss at the 406 mark. And St. Francis on the road on homecom homecoming, leading number one ranked St. Xavier 19-0. Joe, you don't see a 6'4", 253, seven-pound guy go to the air like that to stretch out and catch a football very often on a two-yard pass play, but we'll take it. Work offensively. And looks to hand it off. P6 uh, trying to work to his left, reverses Whoa. back to the right, and he spun around and dropped. And let's see the number on the St. Francis Cougar came through there and made a great play. Yeah, Anthony, 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 Moore. Anthony Moore. Yeah, Anthony Moore got him, Joe. He knifed through. Can't say Temple because Gill playing up. And here is a piece again off tackle trying to break to the outside. Will not there get to the outside. Got him. Yeah. Nicely done over there by Rush. To make that tackle, they got it. He got him in the open field. He tried to go outside, and Devon Russ, who's having a fantastic game, brought him down. 
yard line. Now the Cougars come up, cheat in press coverage. Here's a cutback and a Both. good job defensively. That time by St. Francis as they turn them away. Yeah. Not much there as they're coming up. And I'm, I'm trying to catch the, is that Jamel Green. I, I think Dravenstadt was one of the guys. But, yeah, Jamel Green. Wow. Corey also Terrell got also. And Corey Terrell, 28. Yep. They're down on one knee, getting a little bit of a blow. Here comes Gill out of the gun. Looks to hand it off on a sweep and a reverse coming up back to the right side. And some running room. And boy, St. Francis played that well. It's going to be a loss of a yard. It might have well been a loss of a couple more yards. And on the reverse, they were giving that ball on Nick Den Den De Benedetti. Stop them in the end zone. A little motion now, right to left as Gill looks to throw. Throws the corner and nobody there. Oh, that nicely away. done. That one knocked away and no penalty flag. They come again with 5.30 and on a sweep they try to run and they're not going anywhere. Maybe getting a yard inside. Maybe losing a yard. Gastel on a little play fake coming back to the left. I think he lost yardage about a yard outside the five. 6'3", junior, 194 pounder. Ran the ball once, handed it off to uh, Campbell and looks, spins, wants to throw, reverses, throws over the middle and that's picked off at the... 47-yard line, and St. X back in business again. And they've got the ball back at the 35 yeah. Yeah. to St. Francis. In fact, uh, we'll see it might be closer to the 25-yard line. Steve Yoder's tempted to go to the air again. He will. Throws the near side, and there's Cam Smith with a catch. And Cam Smith turns up field. He's got a big first down. And I'll tell you what, Yoder kind of stared down Smith on the near side, but uh, fortunately, SXU did not try to jump the roof. Two defense in for St. Xavier. And here we go, big call. And here's a scramble run by Yoder. Throws the ball and threw it high. Oh! And Kelso amazed the catch down the right sidelines and bumped out of bounds, but not before he gets to the 45 of SXU. So Kelso, that would have made the top 10 ESPN plays of the day. That was incredible. Quarter three belong to SXU. They use a pair of field goals from their uh, kicker, Spencer Nolan, to get within six of number 10 ranked St. Francis, 1913, after three quarters here in Chicago. Here's Yoder, play action fake, rolls to his right and throws on the run, and that one is caught inside the 30 yard line with a game down to the 25. That's a good uh, delivery, kind of a jump pass, a little bit modified by uh, David Yoder. In the goal line offense, with Andre Turner coming in, motion right to left, play action fake, rolling to the right, and here's a throw and a catch is made, and that's a run inside the 10 to the 5, and a touchdown for St. Francis. Touchdown. Wow, that was St. another Francis. gutsy play, Joe. They run it to Matthew Knoll, I think, 80. I think he was lined up as a tight end in the uh, goal line formation. We are out at the 23. It was a simple rollout. They thought, I think, that, uh, that Yoder was going to run the football, but instead he rolled out and threw it. And Noel was wide open and up the sidelines. Wow, gutsy play. I'll tell you what, I thought that, that Yoder was going to run for at least the first down. He wanted much more. Everybody knows where the ball is, and uh, we totally understand why, right? Here we go. Here's a screen. Cat makes a one-handed catch and trying to find some running room. Cougars of St. Francis uh, do a good job making that a minimal gain of a couple of yards only. And here is Gill, empty backfield, looking, looking, throws over the middle, looking for Zachary, and that one knocked away. Alan Richardson was there, and no penalty flag. So Alan Richardson has done a fantastic job tonight. I can't believe that, uh, again, St. X is going to whine about wanting pass interference. Zachary's over there uh, throwing his hands up. It was perfect defense. Richardson played the ball all the way, elevated, caught it at the height, and, and uh, just knocked it away. Colin Carmen really got the good foot into the ball. His last punt had just one last week for 46. He'd love to get the big one now. Here's the snap perfectly to him. Steps into it. Got it away. High. End over. Wow. Out. Driving back inside the 30, inside the 20, inside the 10. Circles back to the 5. Now works upfield. Gets to the outside, but not for long as he's brought down short of the 20-yard line. As the Cougars got players and personnel down there, led by Cale Tabler. 49, 51 yards unofficially on that punt, Joe. That's back-to-back -back punts of uh, 56, 51, and he had a 60. Unbelievable. I'm sorry, 55 and 51-yard uh, punts today. Flank a receiver out out of the backfield, so it's an empty backfield. And here's Gill. Gill takes a look and throws to the left. He's got a man, and there's a catch at the 43-yard line. Wow. 
and they don't recognize that. But They're he, supposed to. He's up and down. Here's a, a play action fake. They'll throw the ball oh. and a run, missed tackle, and a first down to the Cougar 47 yard line. And then St. Francis came up with the ball. We'll wait for the officials to confirm. St. Francis thinks they've got it up around the 48 yard line. And indeed, they do. Wow, what a big play, Joe. Another turnover. That's the third turnover of the game. The first fumble on a fumble loss. Fumble recovered by St. Francis. Protector and the play action fake again. And collapsing on Gill. And Gill turned up and dropped back inside the 10. And it was great pressure that time is getting Bruce. to him was Zach Bruce. Zach and the clock the is a running. That's beautiful. They are in the uh, victory formation. They'll take a knee right here with the final 23 seconds. And that may do it. So a great job by the Cougars of the Silver and Blue from the University of St. Francis come on the road and upset the number one ranked St. Xavier Cougars here on homecoming under the lights tonight in the south side of Chicago. And St. Francis will win this football game by a final score of 25 to 13. What's going on Cougar TV? Standing here with Clayton Smith, tight end. Got a touchdown and on our victory over St. X. So, Real clutch touchdown. I know it felt good. It looked good. Did it look good? Did it feel as good as it looked? Absolutely. It was uh, my first touchdown I've ever scored in my life, <laughs> including Pee Wee or anything. Uh, I'm an offensive lineman, so I don't get the chance to score a lot. Um, and uh, thanks to Betcher blocking and Yoder's ball, you know, I was able to capitalize. First touchdown, best touchdown of the year so far in this team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you alignment, so you block a lot, and uh, of course, you know, we got a bye week next week, but, you know, the very next team we verse, Marion, big game, so just talk a little bit about how you plan on getting better, you know what I'm saying, preparing for Marion. Um, I mean, uh, we haven't really got to watch film on him yet, but uh, as soon as we can, um, we just come up with a game plan, and, uh, you know, I think we'll be able to, to come up with a great game, game plan. The coaches usually come up with a really good one. Um, and we just got to execute. The O-lines uh, really improved on their tenacity and finishing blocks, um, and that's something that we preached since the beginning of the year. So as far as offensive line goes, as long as we can keep up, finish blocks downfield, and uh, just do our job, you know, we'll be able to come away with a victory, I think. All right. Hey, good game today. Thanks, brother. Victory over Say Next, 25-13. That was Clayton Smith. We got Justin Juarez, linebacker, starting linebacker, made some big plays, big key plays. And uh, you got you got a relative on uh, Say Next, a brother who looks exactly like him. But uh, so uh, go ahead and talk about this victory. How you feeling right now? Yeah, you know, I put my dues in uh, four years, haven't beat him yet. Finally get a chance to actually get on the field, and I'm just glad, you know, bragging rights for a year in my household. My brother gave me a lot of crap last year. I'm just glad we got the W, and it feels great. It feels great. So, Warriors, what's how, how do you feel the defense, how the defense did today, your defense? I think for the first time, our team actually, like, trusted each other. We didn't press the press the quarterback when he rolled out. The D-line took care of that. We stayed deep. DB stayed deep. Uh, there was a couple miscues, but we we reacted. We uh, flew to the ball and made up for a couple mistakes. And in the end, it was a great victory, a great defense today. Definitely great. We play Cougar football. And, uh, hey, good job out there. Feels good to come home with this victory. Yeah, I've never beat him before either, so, yeah, this is definitely good. Justin Warris. We got Allen Richardson, cornerback for the St. Francis Cougs 24. You seen him out there making plays. So, Allen? Lovely game, man. You play played a heck of a game. So talk about what's what's your thoughts on the game? What just went down? I mean, basically we played Cougar football. You know what I'm saying? Coming into the game, we prepared like none other. We knew we were better. We watched the film. We knew their tendencies. We knew we, we knew everything. We, we we were very prepared. Came in and we just executed. Like I think I think execution was the key to this victory. How are you gonna keep preparing, keep getting better, so that we can keep playing Cougar football? I mean, to be honest. The bye weeks is probably best on us, you know what I'm saying? We use two weeks to prepare for the new number one. You know what I'm saying a team that beat us again last year. So we, we, had, we had a chip on our shoulder coming into this game because St. X beat us. So we got another chip from Marion, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think the bye week is going to help. You know, we got to stay focused like this in the end, like this is the beginning, you know what I'm saying? So from here, we can only go up, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep elevating, we're going to keep rising, we're going to watch the occasion. Just play play Cougar football yet again in two weeks when we go down to Indy play Marion. All right. I like I like them words. Confident. That's how we gotta be. Yep. R. A. Rich played a good game. 
Go have fun tonight, man. Enjoy it. Do not do nothing crazy. Cougar football. Yeah, yeah.